discussions over whether to invoke the 25th Amendment as lawmakers question the president's ability to carry on his duties. This is Katie Turner joins us live from in studio. And Katie, you spoke with a political analyst today to learn how this amendment works. I did, Brendan. Experts tell me the 25th Amendment wasn't designed for situations like this. With President Trump having just under two weeks left in office, it may be more likely that his term ends with impeachment. The clock is ticking. Donald Trump's term is over January 20th at 12 noon, whether he likes it or not. 28 senators and 107 House members were hoping the 25th Amendment will be invoked, escorting President Trump out of the White House even sooner. An unlikely outcome, according to political analyst John Bersini. So we're operating within a very tight time frame. What that means to the 25th Amendment is the fact that even if you did get Vice President Pence to sign on to the fact that, yes, he's on board with it, then you've got the majority of the cabinet, half of the cabinet that signs on to it. Not to mention the president himself could make the argument that he isn't incapacitated. He then can send a letter or notification to Congress, and they have four days to consider his objection. Rossini says even if they reach that point, Trump loyalists within the House would never get on board. Even South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, longtime Trump supporter, after speaking out against the president's recent actions. It breaks my heart that my friend, a president of a consequence, would allow yesterday to happen. Still, Graham says he is against invoking the 25th Amendment. Meanwhile, articles of impeachment are being drafted in the House. According to Brasini, like the 25th Amendment, impeachment also has a long process. What you're really up against here, at least as far as trying to remove him from office via impeachment, really is the time notion. In the midst of calls for the 25th Amendment and impeachment, President Trump did announce tonight that he is conceding and is hoping for a peaceful transition of power. For now, live in studio, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two. Thank <laughs> you.